Hey guys, welcome into my channel. It's Karen Lavender Clothesline, and today I am bringing you back to Mother Tucker's Antiques. This is an antique store in Ephrata, Pennsylvania that we stopped in in the last video. I didn't have a lot of time to spend there, and I'm kind of bemoaning that. I'm kind of thinking, oh, I wanted to spend more time there, and I thought, you know what? I'm going back there. I'm going to look at every booth and see all the gorgeous antique items that they have. I'm going to be doing shopping for resale to flip for a profit, but I'm also going to be hunting for a few items for my own personal house. So we'll talk more about what I'm looking for when we get there. Hit that like and subscribe button. Let's go back to Mother Tucker's Antiques and see what we can find. Okay, so I am thrilled. They are still having this sale. Many of these booths are going to be 20 to 50% off. It's a lot. We're going to have to divide and conquer. So I think my plan of action is going to be to hit all of the 50% off booths and gather everything I love and then move on. So that is the plan. We are starting off at this booth. And right away, I am seeing this gorgeous canister jar. Look at the painting on this. It is unmarked. I'm going to try to do this with one. You know what? I'm going to be careful and not break it. So this is $12, and the sign says 50% off over anything over $10 unless marked firm. So I don't see anything marked firm on here. So this is item number one. I'm going to put the camera down and see if I can open this for us. Okay, I'm not saying this is especially old. I don't know that it's an antique. Not everything in this store is going to be an antique, but look at the beautiful color on this. Looks like a piece of pottery, but yet it doubles as a storage container. I just absolutely love this. So I am going to be making a pile at the counter. That way I don't have to carry everything around. All right, item number one going to the counter. Oh, this coin purse is cute. A little red bottle, $6, that's adorable. Okay, I do see it. this piece of pottery. I'm gonna give that thought, $10. What I'm really focusing on is this gorgeous creamer. I love this. Okay, so floral pottery creamer. The tag says $10, looks to be in really good shape. I love a folk art painted type piece. Not sure where this is made but we're gonna go ahead and take that too. If you guys remember, I fell in love with these little kitties. Look at them, they're little musical cats, little figurines. We are scooping those up too. It's just like Christmas day. I am just thrilled to be here having so much fun. All right, we're taking the cats. Okay, so what else do we see? This is beautiful. I don't know that that's especially old. I'm gonna wait on that. Here are a little Toby face, salt and pepper shakers, $25. So those would be $12.50. I'm going to give that thought. Wow, I just want everything. Very fun. A lot of glass. Okay, just scanning the shelves. Hopefully I'm not going too fast, but we have quite a bit to get through. Oh, what is this? Five dollars for this key holder. Hmm, gonna give that thought. I think this is something like ugly face pottery, but not really that ugly. 120 firm. Okay, so that's not gonna be included. Thought I saw something. I'm not sure what my eye was seeing. This is a pretty vase. I am not seeing a price on that, so I'm going to leave that. Wow, there's so much to see. Okay, maybe that does it for this booth. But we have a lot of other booths at 50% off. All right, so this is booth number two having the 50% off sale. Unless marked firm, so everything is 50 off. Wow, look at this set. Blue onion canister set, 10 pieces with lids. Is that $50 or $80? Must be $80. Okay, and the coffee lid is chipped, but isn't that a pretty set? 
Oh, I do love this set. This is Lefton's Paisley Coffee Pot Sugar and Creamer. What a pretty pattern. That is what the bottom looks like. Holding it the wrong way. It goes this way. Blue glass is so pretty. I love turquoise glass. What is this little piece here? This is catching my eye. I'm not sure what this is. Huh, it's an ashtray, a cigar ashtray. Really? Where do you rest your cigar? Not quite sure. Hmm. Okay, I do see one of the Florentine trays down here. And they want 40, so it's going to be 20. I don't know that it's that intricately painted. I like the ones that are really very finely painted. This is more like an overall painted, so I'm going to leave that one. Okay, it looks to be a fruit dish when it's a covered bowl. It's a trick. <laughs> Not sure what you would keep in that, so that would be $10. This almost looks like Tanala pottery. I'm not sure what that's saying. Oh, he's lovely. $32. <laughs> For some reason, I like this elephant. How much is he? 25 hand-built white elephant. Okay, he is kind of cute. Look at that tail. I'm gonna give him food actually. It has like a childlike quality to it and that's what I like. Okay, so what would he be? $12.50. I think I'm taking him. There's something about him that's very good. He's very balanced and his proportions are good. Very sweet, trunk up. We're gonna take him for $12.50. We have this adorable little tray. $16 is gonna be eight. Unsigned, vintage, toll, not sure what that says, distal, <laughs> it's hard enough without my glasses. This is adorable, $8, I'm taking this, folk art always does well for me for resale, and so far I haven't bought anything for myself yet. All of this I will have in my eBay store if you're interested for anything, but just know it's going to take me probably a couple of weeks because I am still working on the lot by my desk. But this is just lovely. Oh, this is one of those carved bookends or bookshelves. $20, so that'll be 10 This is lovely. It almost reminds me of Lily of the Valley. I don't know if that's the floral pattern and this bottom part slides it expands little brass hinges so ten dollars we are definitely scooping that up i've sold quite a few of these and they always do well this is our third booth at 50 percent off seems to be lots of christmas even though i'm over christmas of course i have to take a look at 50 percent off we looked at these plates the other day and they are just lovely so beautiful we have little bookends. I've never seen bookends this tiny. These are gonna be $10. It's almost like the size you would use for children's books. Very sweet. Okay, what does this say? Use fluffy, use not fat, use fluffy. Oh my gosh, that is adorable. <laughs> okay, we're getting that. I just love that saying. So that is $24, that's gonna be 12. I have to make sure I know everybody's rules. Any item marked B-I-L. So that seems to say B-I-L on the bottom. And I don't see any chips or cracks. We're taking that with us. This is adorable. What's that? Oh, it is 20. Okay, so that is $40. That would be 20. I'm gonna give that some thought. I just love the pottery in this booth. Look at this redware piece. Let's set down this piece that we're taking. And let's take a look at this one. Oh, this is beautiful too. 18, so that will be nine. Friendship that flows from the heart will not be frozen by, I have to turn it, by something, adversity. Oh, that's sweet. Okay, this is a handmade piece nine dollars we're gonna take that also i just realized that this running horse is a light what <laughs> 
I've seen black um, panthers like this, but I don't know that I've ever seen it with this light shade. How cool is that? 125, just beautiful. Let's see what else we see. Oh, a nativity down there. Look at that. Let's take a closer look at that. Seems to be Italy, if I was to guess. Oh, this is stunning. Let's see what the tag says. Okay, so seven pieces, nativity set, $75. Do have a little bit of chippage, unfortunately. Wow, we are missing Mary and Joseph. Just beautiful. Okay. Okay, it doesn't get any better than to spend your Friday just going through people's booths that are running 50% off. I do. I feel like a kid in a candy store. So excited. All right, I think that finishes booth number three. Let's see if we can find another one at 50% off. Okay, so in this booth, no exceptions. Any item marked JRB. Look at the color on this. Is this not stunning? This looks to be Westmoreland. Beautiful glass. Okay, so they want 150. You have to buy the compote too. Darn. I really just want the candlesticks. These are the most beautiful color. I don't think the lighting in here is doing these any justice. Sadly, I'm going to have to leave these behind because I don't want to ship the compote. But I would have taken the candlesticks if they were sold separately. But I fully understand keeping that together as a set. Okay. Oh, they have a little cabinet here. 50% off. No exceptions. We are hunting. Salt and pepper shakers, like little walnuts. How cute is that? Paperweight back there. I'm still not doing a lot of glass, but I have to report back and saying I'm doing a little bit better. I am learning a little bit. If my brain could only hold it all, that would be good. All right. This piece here is interesting. I don't know if this is an artist easel or what this is. White, yeah, I think that says easel, right? Interesting, very interesting. Okay, oh, I see a copper set of bowls. Let's see what the price is on these. Oh, they're beautiful, $95. Okay, let's take a bowl out. If I can do this without making everything crash to the floor. Okay, so this is the smaller one. Hmm, is that real solid copper? I'm not sure. It seems to have some kind of some kind of wash over it. Maybe it originally had a lacquer and that is partially worn off. They are lovely. Okay, I'm going to wait on those because I don't know enough about them, you know, to spend over $40. What would that be? $45? Let's see the price. Okay, so it's 95. So almost, what would that be, 47.50, if I did my math correct? And I don't know enough, uh, enough about those. Oh, look at the artwork. I am on the hunt for a piece of artwork from my house. I'm gonna quickly go through these. I will insert a screenshot here of what type of painting I'm looking for. I'm looking for an original. It doesn't have to be a known artist. I want it to be a landscape of like uh, the plains, you know, in America. An American, American plains, I'm gonna call it. That is what I'm on a hunt for. Kind of a moody painting with deeper colors. Um, not necessarily any buildings in it. I just want it to be landscape. I've always liked stuff like that. And more and more I'm seeing modern prints. And I'm hoping to find an original in an antique store. I don't think I want to pay more than one or one fifty for it. Okay, I didn't see any here. But there are quite a few pieces of artwork in this store. So I'm going to have to keep my eyes open while looking down, too. Okay, let's go to the next booth. Oop, hold the phone. What is this? 
Everything seems to be in a box that might not even be unpacked yet. Wooden Victorian wall pocket as found, $45. The mirror does have a little bit of distressing, which is to be expected. $45. Hmm. All right, we're going to wait on that one. Okay, this whole back row system, 50% off, no exceptions. So again, this is Mother Tucker's Antiques. I don't know how long the sale is running. I think each individual vendor, you know, sets their own sale. Oh, well, that's quite pretty. Made in Japan, $4, no exceptions. This would be $2. Do I want that for $2? I think I do. It's almost like a little milk pitcher. Okay, we really like that. Large creamer. Hmm. I'm not sure whether I want that, even though it's only $2. Okay, I'd kind of be silly not to take it for $2. But again, I'm going to give it thought. You guys know me. I'm very careful with my buy-in, what I buy, and what I pay for it. I think that's been one of the reasons that my store on eBay has been such a success for 10 years. I don't just start buying just to buy. I try not to. <laughs> this is pretty. Okay, is this? I don't even know if this lid comes off. It almost seems to be glued on. Oh, there we go. That was a hard one. I always look at this seal, this gasket. A lot of times you can tell if it's a true rubber, it might be older, if it's plastic, newer. This is well-equipped kitchen jar, $3. I'm going to take a look at it, even though it's newer. I do like a yellow and blue colorway. I think it's very pretty. Okay, but you can tell it's quite uh, machine done. So this is what it looks like on the bottom. Let me turn that around for us. Well-equipped kitchen. Not sure who sells that. I almost think that might be Walmart. Very pretty colorway, though. But that's not really what we're looking for today. Make sure I put the top on. All right, let's keep going. Oh, I see a little bird down here. Let's see what he's about. He's on a branch, $4. Made in Japan. It's a pheasant. <laughs> I wish he was a roadrunner. For some reason, roadrunners do really well in my store. Okay, I think this is a crumb tray. So back in the day, they would have a little brush and they would brush the crumbs off the table. $4. Atlantic City Oat Dust Pan, they're calling it. I don't know if that's a dust pan. I would call that a crumb tray. But correct me if I'm wrong. Leave a comment down below on what you guys think this original use was. No, it is a souvenir. But do you think it's a dust pan or do you think it's a crumb catcher? Okay. I'm going to put that there. Oh, this is a beautiful plate. Isn't that pretty? Okay, $8. Hmm. Hmm. What do we think of that? Okay. Probably missing a hundred things, but I do want to get through the whole store. So I am starting on the 20 or 30% off. I think there's even a couple at 10. We finished all the 50% off. I feel like I did really well. Now we're just going to peruse the booths that have 20% off. Again, they'll all have different rules, so you have to pay attention to the rules. This one is any item marked with their initials. We love that rule. Okay. We saw these the other day. I fell in love with these. I have listed mine. I have a little woman with a gray muff. $39, more than fair. So beautiful. I did find mine in Goodwill, I believe. I do especially like this blanket. This is alpaca. The only problem is when I opened it up, it's got like a big daisy in the middle of it. I would rather have seen an Aztec design. I would have grabbed it. I don't even remember what they're asking for it. But anyway, I'm not going to take that one. I do like the colorway, and alpaca is super warm. Put that on the end of your bed on a cold winter night. It is really chilly here today in Pennsylvania. We're supposed to go below zero. So an alpaca blanket sounds wonderful. What are these little milk can canisters back here? Milk can canister. <laughs> That's exactly what it is. Seem to be more modern. 
kind of caught my eye. Always lots of little salt and peppers and figurines, pretty glass. Boy, that lamp is something. Hurricane style lamp. With that colorway, I would be surprised if that was very old. To me, that's a reproduction. I don't know that the older ones would have that, that fuchsia purple color. Okay, I'm seeing a plate back here. I love Ned Fultz, $35. Okay, so 20% off. Now the math comes in, $7 off. It is lovely. I don't think that leaves much room for profit and I don't collect them, so we're gonna put that back, but I love his pottery. I love uh, Ned Foles and I love uh, Eldreth pottery. This little elephant is catching my attention, $8. Oh, and I think the very tip of his tusk might be chipped. Japan. And he does have crazing on him. Elephants are always popular. Also see some pigs back there. I think I've sold those before. Okay, so I'm not going to buy anything from this booth. Let's find the next booth that is 20% off. I have never seen a swung glass vase like this art glass vase 23 inches they want 28 dollars for it i think this is much newer i don't think this is mid-century modern but boy is this interesting look at the work that went into that do i want this made in romania just that sticker tells me that it's newer quite beautiful i think my disconnect is not that my nail polish matches so well <laughs> But then I don't want to ship a piece of glass that's 23 inches. Just beautiful, though. So this booth is 25% off, over $10, unless marked firm. And they also have a 50% off going on with a red asterisk. So I guess we're looking at the price tags and looking for a red asterisk if we want the 50% off. So I'm going to take a quick look at this booth. I don't know that I caught this the first time around. I'm not seeing anything especially jumping out at me. I do see this box. Oh, this is the Crimson Chest One Pound Chocolate Box. Quite old, $16. I'm not seeing any of the price tags with the red asterisks. Up oh, here we go, $24 for a vintage decoration. So that's gonna be $12, like a door. Instead of a wreath, I guess you hang this, plastic. I do like, again, this glass back here. I think it's the blue that attracts me. Cobalt and crystal candy jar, 16. No red asterisks. All right, let's go to the next booth. Okay, this blue seems to be L.E. Smith. I've sold quite a bit of this in green. Does have a sticker inside or a tag. L.E. Smith, Moon and Stars Bowl, $18. I did okay with the green. I don't know that L.E. Smith, these pieces bring much, but when you find them in the thrift store, you definitely want to run a comp. So I turned the corner and this booth is not having a sale at this time, but there's a few pieces that really caught my attention. I do like this covered basket down here. So we're gonna move the eagle, which is going for $4. That's not a bad price. Hand woven rattan basket, $9.50. Let's take a look at this. Does the cover come off or is it hinged? Oh, it does come off. Okay, so the top rim has separated a little bit. That's unfortunate. If you find nesting baskets like this, they can do very well. I don't know why nesting baskets are so expensive online. $9.50, hand-woven. Mm hmm. What would I have to charge for that? I would have to charge $27 minimum, and I don't know that this would bring $27. Very nice basket, older. But we're going to leave that behind. I wish it was 50% off. Then I would have grabbed it. Oh, let me put the eagle back up there. Okay. Here's two end tables. Sometimes it's hard to see the furniture because there's so many interesting pieces. This is not all. This is Temptations. I haven't seen a lot of the gray, but boy, are we seeing the Temptations 
in the thrift stores and antique places, flea markets, a ton of it. And I just generally stay away from it because it's a very heavy stoneware. What is this? This is signed. You guys know me. I love a good piece of pottery. Oh, look at that. It's marked and signed. Let's take a look at what this looks like. I feel like it's a little bit crude, not as balanced as I would like to see. So we're going to wait on that piece. Could be a student piece. If I could go back in time and learn one craft, I think it would be throwing clay on a wheel. I did get the opportunity to visit Guy Wolf back in the day. That was probably, oh my goodness, almost 30 years ago. And Guy Wolf is a world famous potter and he invited me to his studio and um, we got to watch him throw pots. That was one of the thrills of a lifetime. Okay, New York sunglasses. Look at the shape on that. Who is that reminding me of? There's some fashion icon. She's a woman, I think she's still alive, in her 90s, and I can't remember her name. These glasses remind me of her. $5, very fun. Okay, we have a little bit of hobnail glass here. I see these a lot. A vintage yellow poodle dog. Wow, look at those candles. I don't know that those originally had that mesh material on them, but it could be. A saffron box, hand-turned and signed, $15. Well, that is a beautiful thing. I wonder when this booth is going to have a sale. <laughs> I'm going to have to pop back more often. I do love a good wood piece. Robert Treat Hog, Oxford, Pennsylvania, wooden vase. Boy, that's a different shape. I'm not sure if this 20% is applying, I would imagine, to these items. This looks to be olive wood. Huh. Look at that. Now, I thought this would be like a juicer, a reamer, I think it's called, but they are calling it a mortar and pestle. But I do like this little bowl. And I think I'm going to go ahead and grab that. This might wind up in my house. So I'm going to grab that piece. Another little bowl and lid, $20. I'm telling you, you can't miss a thing. You gotta look at every little shelf and, and ledge. Okay, this booth is 20% off, over $10. So we gotta keep that in mind. Did that last one say over $10? Over $10, so I think my mortar and pestle is probably not on sale, but that's okay. I don't mind. I really liked that. And I'm not saying that's older. I do see that wood type of bowl quite often. And I collect them. Oh, I saw this little guy the other day. And how much was he? $14. Okay, so 20% off $1.40, $2.80. Somebody do the math. Okay, this is Andrea by somebody, Chaddock. And I do love the bird. I just don't like what he's sitting on. I wish he was sitting on something that wasn't that. <laughs> I'm not sure what I want him to sit on, on a tree. Okay. These tell the weather. What are these called? Galileo thermometer. $24. Has something to do with the barometric pressure and something, something, and that's all I got. All right, there's the kitties that I am still in love with. This guy still has a chipped ear. It hasn't healed yet. Oh, we had this when I was little. I was thrilled to press the button oh, to get salt and pepper. Simple times, I tell you what. We did not have video games. We were pressing buttons on salt and pepper shakers. That is too funny. Okay, boy, this orange is pretty. $28. Oh, it's called persimmon. Viking, Viking glass. Very pretty. I think that's mid-century. Here's a Tanala fish. What do they want for the Tanala fish? Ten. Okay, so over ten. So I don't think ten is included. We're going to have to ask about that. I do love a good fish. Do we love a good fish? Now you guys all say, yes, we do. <laughs> oh my goodness. A vintage ostrich figurine. Oh, he's very cute. All right. Oh, the black kitty is adorable. The green eyes, great for Halloween, very old. 
$20. Chalkware. Okay, so that's what chalkware looks like. Hmm. I have to give him thought. If he was half price, I would have taken him. All right. I think that's it for this booth. I don't know if we're going to get through this whole store. Okay, we did do this booth. This was the 50% off, and I found quite a bit here. I'm sure if I looked, I would find even more. But we're going to keep going with the 20 or 30s. So this one is 30% off. There is Santa sitting on a rattan chair. Did I do this one already? I can't remember. Okay, I'm just going to take a quick look. Little kerosene lamps. I'm not sure why people have such tiny lamps. I guess they have little tiny rooms. There's a little mermaid who looks very mad. <laughs> She's having a rough day. Okay, these booths just go on forever and ever. I think we did really well today. I'm sure there were a hundred things that you guys were probably shouting at the screen for me to pick up. But with filming, you know, holding the camera, it does get a little difficult. But I had a great time. I'm so glad I came back. This is 50% off. I don't know if I looked at this one. Hopefully I did. I think I saw pretty much everything that I wanted to be able to have a chance at purchasing. Oh, I have almost the same plant stand at home that I want at an auction. I'm going to see what they're charging for it. 95. Okay, I think mine is less, and mine is local pickup only. Wow, look at this big pink vase. That is something. What does this say? 38. Very pretty. All right, guys, hit that like and subscribe button, and as always, go out and get what's yours. Okay, so this is a very fancy thrift store. So I imagine we're going to have fancy prices. Oh, not bad. $8.99 for that vase or bowl. I'm going to take a look at that. It is green tag day, 50% off. This store is super beautiful, set up really nicely. This was the bowl that we saw from the other side. Let's take a look at this. Oh, quite pretty. $8.99. I don't know that this is especially old. Oh, am I going to have to take out my glasses? <laughs> I don't see any chips or cracks. Let's see if I can lift this up and bring it in the light. Handmade Venetian. Made in Italy. Okay, that's kind of pretty. I'm kind of liking that. I think I'm putting that in the cart. Not even in the door. Five seconds. But I do like this very much. That is item number one. Okay, I'm a little bit confused of how this all works. So some of these shelves are open. You can just reach in and take the merchandise. $4.99, that's kind of pretty. But see this little bowl here? This is all encased and it's locked and there's no price on it. So I'm trying to find out how do I look at that bowl? I kind of like that bowl. I do like this piece here also. $6.99. I might grab that too. Very pretty. So sales help did have to open the case. This little green ball is $21.99. Not especially old. And I did take the little terrarium bird cagey looking thing. I don't even know what to call this. I'm not sure why I'm taking this. $6.99. But I think it's kind of well made. Oh, it's cracked. Look at that. There's a big crack in it. All right. I'm going to have to let her know. Never mind. I thought this was quite unique. So I'm just going to give this back to them. So honestly, I think this is nicer than some department stores. I mean, they even wrap their posts with lights, which is pretty, but we know what that means. It's going to raise the prices. Let's see what the coats are. $8.99. That's comparable to Goodwill in our area. So even though they're Old Navy and JCP, that's not a bad price. And when they go on sale, you know, that could be half off. So we'll go with that. All right, let's go back over to Hard Goods. I did let them know that that piece had a crack. And I don't want to go down any aisles with other people, which every aisle has people in it. 
All right, let's take a look at this aisle. Try to keep my camera down. I do try to be careful of not filming other people, but sometimes it's just impossible. Everybody's interrupting my filming. I'm just so kidding. All right, hopefully you can hear me. It's a little bit loud in the store, but it's loud from talking, not from music. So I very much appreciate this store not playing super loud music. Lots of little tchotchkes. Nothing all that wonderful on these aisles. Here's a little covered dish. Okay. $6.99. I think $6.99 is one of their favorite prices. <laughs> Let's turn the corner and see what's down this way. All right, more people. So we're going to avoid that aisle right now. And I get to look at picture frames because nobody wants to look at the picture frames. You can find good frames, but I don't buy too many of them. Okay, lots of baskets. Unfortunately, they would know the good name baskets. Now this one, you can tell right away it's made in China just by the way it's woven. So when you see something like this that's stapled together like that, that's a definite no. Okay, what is this? A little bird basket. That could be cute. But $1.99, that's a good price for that. If you happen to need a bird basket, I mean. I always look for nesting baskets. Nesting baskets that have covers. So lidded nesting baskets, if they're well woven, can bring good money. I've sold nesting baskets for, I'm going to say 60. I think even higher. Okay, lots of dishes, which we're going to try to avoid because, just because. <laughs> this morning I woke up and I only had like maybe eight pieces of clothing and one hard good. It was so lovely. I felt like I had won a prize because when you have to ship hard goods every day before shopping and filming, <sighs> I do like this picture. Oh, there's the famous $6.99. Very pretty red. I don't know what these go for, but I do like this one. I like when the pictures sit on an angle. This one is kind of like a swirl rib. I might look this up. Now, if this is going to be chipped, most likely it's going to be chipped at the spout. I'm going to put this in the cart. I don't imagine this would bring more than 15, but we're going to pop it in because it's so pretty. And, oh dear, we have glass. What is happening here? <laughs> All right, let's keep going. So a lot of times the items that are considered better items will be on auction. So they group it together, very fun set. See, this is number 33. I'm not sure if this is silent auction. I believe it is. So you put your bid in the book and then after a certain amount of weeks, the highest bidder gets the item for that price that they're willing to pay. So look at that. They even set it up with a beam background. <laughs> there is a camera. And behind the counter, we're seeing a quilt, some elephants, and various items, some dolls. Doesn't mean they're necessarily really worth more. They're just, you know, saying that they're worth more. They have a fairly good eye, though. So you can see an American Girl doll over there, some Legos. And I imagine quite a few people bid. So I'm looking at the book right now, but somebody um, is looking at the book. They're signing in, so... I'm gonna walk away and just give you that little bit of information. All right, let's make the corner. Let's turn this corner, see what else we can find. Here's the lights I'm talking about on the post. Kind of cool. And they do decorate for the different seasons. So we're definitely not in Goodwill. <laughs> oh, I see a wooden bowl. I don't think I want it. Let's see what they get for it. $6.99 and it does have damage. Not a solid piece. If this was one solid piece of wood, I would probably grab this, but at $4.99, not $6.99. Okay, a lot of coffee mugs. And let's go on to linens. Just a little embroidered doily or runner. Yeah, runner. And let's see what they want for that. $2.99, that's not bad. Here they have an older one with some lace. And what is this called, this technique? Tatted, tatted lace, or there's a name to this. This is all crocheted with string, just amazing. 
$8.99, but it's quite um, discolored. Okay, they do have a book section. It's almost set up like a public library. Look at that. Decorated for the holiday. Lots of people here. They also give you benches for sitting and just perusing the books. And you can see lots of books. Look how organized this is, guys. This is a thrift store. What? Chapter books. Oh, tell me they've actually alphabetized the titles. That is pretty impressive. Okay, great care put into this store. Let's see what's over this way. It seems to be toys and some bigger, bigger household items. Lots of furniture in this store. Let's see what kind of prices they have. Okay, so take top copy to register. $129. That's not bad. That's a solidly built dresser. Huh? Pretty impressive. Okay, let's walk around this way. Lots of wood here in Pennsylvania. A lot of colonial, early American, all the things you would expect to find in Pennsylvania. This is a corner. Is this a corner piece? $82.99. I guess that's for a TV and a VCR. Some hurricane lamps over there. Okay, don't know that we're going to find much. I think I'm going to head over that way to artwork. They also have artwork on this back wall, but I've kind of looked at it from afar, not really seeing anything. For me, if I was shopping for a serious furniture, I would definitely go to the auctions. Auctions are crazy. Sometimes you can get a full, gorgeous Thomasville uh, dining room set for like $200. We're talking like six to eight chairs, the sideboard or the or the buffet. Okay, this is lovely. It's not my taste, but look at this, 189. This thing is massive. A cedar chest. <gasps> look at that. That is huge. Wow. I almost think this would make a good coffee table for somebody. The height is wrong. But All right, so artwork on that wall over there. I didn't see anything I was looking for. Here is a dining room set. Looks like it's a little bit past its prime. Lamps. I always love looking at lamps. Still looking for one for my living room. I feel like I'm living in the dark waiting for the perfect lamp. I do almost, almost like this one. This one's vintage. $8.99. Hmm. Hmm. There's no maker's mark on it. That's not bad. Doesn't look to be handmade, but almost has a handmade look. A little bit retro. What else do we see? Okay, this one's modern. I always wonder what this design is called. Is this lattice or Greek key? Not Greek key. It's got to be like a trellis or a lattice name. There's a little desk. All right, that is what that is looking like. Nothing eventful. Okay, I did run a comp on the red pitcher. Turns out it's Anchor Hawking Royal Ruby. Uh, also called Roly Poly for the round shape. $14.91 sold for. Here's one that's not ribbed, $14. I think I saw one as high as, here's $10 for the smooth. Uh, let's see if we see any more. I saw one as high as $15 there. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it back. This one was 30. Not quite sure why that one brought a high price, but I don't really see too many more, $10.99. So I'm gonna say, oh no, that's 99 cents. I don't have my glasses on. So I'm gonna say that uh, for $7, I'm gonna go ahead and put that one back. I've spotted this little fur pillbox hat. I'm sure it's not a pillbox hat. Look how sweet this is. Cecile, original. What do they want for it? $8.50. This is lovely. I believe this is just custom made. It won't have a size. So I will take this and resell it. I will measure the circumference of the inside. What I go by for these is that number one, it's genuine fur. And number two, that the inside label is present in good condition and very clean. You want the hat to look really clean. So this gorgeous little hat is 
going right in my cart. Although I'm not finding a lot in this store, this is an item I always look for in the local stores in Lancaster. This is a handmade dress with this extra material sewn over it. I believe this is called a cape dress. Like I said, all handmade. This one's beautifully done for $6.99. We're gonna turn it around and take a look at the back. Workmanship is exceptional on this and it's in a lovely gray with this lace trim. So pretty. I don't even know if this one's been worn. $6.99 is more than fair. And I'll probably ask $30 to $35 for this. So this one's going right in my cart. I did look through the rack to see what are the dresses they had, handmade dresses, whether they be Amish or Mennonite. Here's a blue one. This looks a little fancy to me. I'm not sure for what occasions, what type of clothing is worn. This one has a little bit of a sheen to it. Button cuff, really pretty. $6.99, I feel tempted to get it. I'm not sure about this blue. It's a little bit loud, I'm gonna say. The inside is satin. Maybe this is worn for a wedding. I don't know. A couple of these look to be junior sizes, so I don't do as well as with um, an adult dress, a woman's dress. Here is one in pink. Again, it looks like for a fancy occasion, maybe the person who made this also made this one. I think if they were green tag, I would take a chance. The ones I've sold are more plain. They're in like calico prints, calico, calico prints. And um, yeah, I always make sure to check this type of clothing. Some of you have made the comments that you were surprised to see that people that would wear this type of clothing would be online. Most of our area is online, whether it be for business or personal. And many of my shoppers are online that um, that have this type of faith lifestyle. All right, so I just figured I'd mention that. The gray one is a great find at $7. Okay guys, so this is the boutique section. Still fair prices, not great. I didn't find too many green tags and the names in the boutique section are still the same names, American Eagle and stuff like that. I think they're just trying to make this a nicer shopping experience. And they also have this silent auction um, up at the counter for items that they're recognizing as better. But overall, the store is really nice. The prices are fair. And I did wind up finding three things. I went with the Mennonite dress, the vintage fur, I'm going to call it a pillbox hat, and the Venetian glass. All right, hit that like and subscribe button. And as always, go out and get what's yours.